Welcome to Silent Hill. This is a series that I've been meaning to get into for a very long time. Silent Hill is such a classic series and it's influenced so many of the games that I've played. But the thing is, the weird thing is, I've never actually played any Silent Hill games, not really. I played the demo for, I think it was Silent Hill 3, maybe another demo, maybe like little bits here and there just very briefly, but I've never actually sat down with a game and actually played the whole thing. I've absorbed bits of the aesthetic of Silent Hill, I've seen little bits of playthroughs, I've seen speedruns of various games, but you know, I want to get into the series for myself. I was wondering which one to start with, and after looking at all of them, and there's there's a bunch of Silent Hill games and they're pretty variable in, in their reception, how well they're liked. I think Silent Hill 2 is probably the one that's liked the best, but I figured the best place to start is probably with the very first one. So let's go back to the very first Silent Hill, where it all began in 1999 on the PlayStation 1. Let's play on normal. Jesus Christ, that's loud. Is that a loading screen? I think so. Cheryl, where could you be? It's strange. It's quiet. Too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. Cheryl. And that's it. And we're starting playing. I love how fast that gets into the game. No massive, like, lore, backstory, filling cutscene before you get to play. It's like 10 minutes of a video and then a tiny little loading screen and then here you are. There is a video that plays when you first start up the game and also if you remain inactive in the menu for like 30 seconds or so, this video plays. I don't know if that's just like a generic trailer for the game or if that's supposed to be a sort of opening cutscene. I'm not really sure. Um, I'll play it right now for you.
Given all the characters that it shows, I think that's just a trailer for the game, so I don't think you're supposed to really, like, in-universe know all that information that you see there to understand what's happening here. Um, but I mean, just based on that trailer, you see this character, I forgot their name, Harry, I think? And they had a kid in the car, I assume that's Cheryl, probably their daughter. And we have... did we crash? Hold on, our car is back here? Wait. Wait, where is our car? I thought it was just like right here. I thought we just got right outside of it and then that's it. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea where our car is. That's weird. That's Silent Hill for you. But yeah, it uh, looks like we crashed the car here. Damn. You okay? So I assume that's all we're supposed to know in-universe. We're in some mysterious town, our daughter's missing, need to find them. So I am playing this on an emulator, by the way. And because it's an emulator, there's a bunch of things that I can tweak, like I can up the resolution that the game is rendered at, I can increase it from 16-bit color to 32-bit, which will get rid of all this dithering effect. So there's a lot of stuff I could do to make it look more high fidelity, but I try that stuff, and honestly, I don't like it. This is a game that's meant to look like this, it's designed to look like this, and it's a game that's very moody and atmospheric. And I felt like when I had it on super high resolution and everything was much clearer to see, I felt like it removed a lot of the moodiness and made it look less interesting. I kind of like this this chunky, obscure look where everything's a little bit hard to make out and everything looks kind of weird. So I'm actually deliberately going to keep it on native settings. This is completely native. Also, I have no idea how to play. Don't have the map for this place. I'm playing on keyboard, by the way. So it's a little bit weird to map that to a controller, but hey, I know how to run. I know how to check my map if I had one. Um, oh, I can strafe. Look at their moves. And something really cool, by the way, if you sprint and then suddenly stop, they kind of have to stop themselves because they have so much momentum going forwards. But if you sprint for just like a second, and then stop, it doesn't do that. You gotta sprint for like, three or four seconds. It's a nice detail. Okay. Let's explore. How do I like examine things? I'm not sure if I don't know what the button is or if I just can't examine this particular thing. Look at the... This is so eerie. Look at how fucking wide these roads are. Like, look at it. This is one lane. From here... to here. This town is so otherworldly, it's obviously not even real. It doesn't make any sense. It's so big. It's like three or four lanes of traffic. No street is designed like that. It's ridiculous. Let me check the controls real quick. Yeah, I think the only key I was missing was the select key. This? Yeah, it's like the menu. I love, by the way, how when you enter that menu, you get this weird, like, color burn-in effect. Like, look at this. Starting right now, as it's loading the menu or like transitioning to it or whatever it's doing. I wonder if that's deliberate, that it looks like that, or if it's just like an accidental artifact because of the limitations of the technology. It looks super cool though. But all right, this is probably items that I would have if I had any items, my status. I'm assuming the green in the background is good. Don't have the map for this place, options, no need. And then up there, there's equipment and command, but I can't reach them. 
Interesting. I'm doing the thing I usually do in games, which is going the opposite direction from where I think I should go. It's open. I really feel like I should be able to inspect this stuff. Oh, there we go, I used that. Footsteps. I'm not playing right now, by the way, it's a cutscene. fast, they just disappear to the mist. That said, beware of dog. Oh, yeah. Wow. Did the dog do that? Must have been a real hungry pupper. What the? What is it? Okay, yes, that's the examination button. I hear the distant Silent Hill siren. Here, let me up the audio volume so you can hear it. there in the background. I hate that noise. There's something so creepy about it. To me, it just says, like, bad stuff is about to really happen. Ew. Make squishy noises. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I have no control over the camera, by the way. Look at that. That is so cool. I vaguely remember seeing this part of the game. I don't know what in, though. Maybe a... Maybe a speedrun? I certainly haven't played it. Holy shit, it's dark. Strange, it's getting darker. Mm-hmm. Better than nothing, I guess. Where'd you get that from? Look at how good the lighting is. Like, that's really good moody lighting, and this is on the PlayStation 1. Why is that spinning? Broken wheelchair. What's this doing here? That's not the creepiest part about it. Ah, fucking industrial esque creepy music. What's this? <laughs> Some amazing thoughts. Henry, Harry, whatever your name is. What's this?
Damn, it's really choppy here. Such a good section, such a good opening. Oh! Okay! Um, hmm. Oh, did I just die? That easily? Uh. Where do I end up? Or maybe that was a. That was supposed to happen? Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm alright, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Uh-huh. Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month, short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. Hmm. What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. No way. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Um, no. Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. Got it? Yeah, thanks. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. So, we were dreaming about something happening in the town while we were in the town. And it seems like at this point, Harry and Sybil? Yeah, Harry and Sybil already 
are at least a little bit familiar with what's going on, at least a tiny bit, because they know that there's threats out there. The rhythm, or not the rhythm, but the, the pacing of that conversation was so bizarre. It's like there was an extra one second between all the different lines of dialogue than there should be. Just a little bit too long in between each line. Felt alien. This is nice. The two condiments you need. The only two you need. Mustard and ketchup. Love that the blinds are just haphazardly kind of moved up. It's like roughly lifted up. Adds to the feeling of dirt and like messiness around here. Although this place right here right now isn't particularly dirty really. Someday someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully they'll find my notes useful. Oh, this is a safe system. Okay. Yeah. Like a couple saves? Sure. I was just thinking that um, because I'm using an emulator, I can use save states, and that's probably what I'm going to be using most of the time. But I should make saves anyway, hard saves. Just in case the save state doesn't work or it takes me to a really bad place. Health drink, take it. Heck yeah. You know, health drink is still a thing in Silent Hill 2. I was actually watching, I watched a couple hours of a playthrough of Silent Hill 2. Flashlight, heck yeah, take it. And is that a map? Yes. Residential area map, take it. No, I have an amazing sense of direction. I just know where everything is. Yes, take it. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was a cutscene. Nope, I'm in control. I wonder if they let you leave the diner before you take that stuff. A radio. Is it broken? Can't hear anything. Hmm. Another health drink, and is that a melee weapon? Kitchen knife? Yeah. I'm pretty sure the radio system is even in the first Silent Hill game. Um, if you're not familiar with the Silent Hill games, there's this thing that they typically do where if you're near an enemy, you usually hear like radio static. So the radio reacts to the proximity of enemies. Okay, let's equip some stuff. <laughs> I love how that pistol looks. Especially the top of it, just like a, just like a stretched single pixel for like each spot on the top and then just stretched all the way across the top. Funky looking. Two of those. Holds up to 15 rounds. So it says in stock 15, I guess that just means the magazine is full. But it also makes it sound like I have 15 handguns on me, which is interesting. Hard to use, but better than nothing. One touch on off switch in the chest pocket. I don't think you have to switch out batteries or anything like that, so I might as well just leave it on, huh? Uh, just got a little bit more used to the controls. Yeah, it looks like I can't turn the flashlight on right now for some reason, at least not from in here. Maybe there's some way to do it outside of the inventory, I don't know. Uh, it looks like the command thing on the top right of the screen shows you if there's any possible commands that you can do to the current selected item. So for the kitchen knife, if I try to use it, then it lets me select from the commands. Right now I can just equip it. I imagine, yeah, unequip if it's equipped. Oh, and then under equipment shows what you currently have equipped. Let's see. I go in here to reload the pistol, so I guess you have to go into your inventory to reload weapons. Okay. Um... I think that's about it. Yeah, let's equip the melee weapon for now. 
Now, what I'm wondering is how the heck does combat work? So that's the map. Let's run. Um. Hmm. I think I can't do combat if I'm not near an enemy. I can't seem to swing the knife just freely. Ah. Uh. <laughs> What's that? Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? Hmm. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna want the pistol for this one, not the knife. I have no idea how to use it. I'm scared. How the fuck do I use it? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a breather. I've discovered what I've been missing. I entirely neglected to figure out what the buttons are for L2 and R2. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? Okay. Uh, I'm probably not doing too- no, I'm doing very bad on health. Let's use some health drinks. Just one's taking me up to... I think full green? It's hard to tell if I'm 100% good. I think I am. Okay. So what I did is I plugged in my Xbox 360 controller. <laughs> I was using the keyboard before. Um, let me check some stuff. Alright, I'm going to try to use the Xbox 360 controller. I actually tried to use it originally when I was doing some testing, but I decided on the mouse and keyboard, or not even the mouse, actually, just the keyboard, because uh, this game has tank controls. So, you just move, like, with the D-pad. Forwards, right, left, backwards. So with tank controls, um, I'm a lot more comfortable with tank controls on the arrow keys on a keyboard than I am with my Xbox 360's D-pad, because the Xbox 360 D-pad is almost unusable to me. It's horrendous. It's just utter garbage. It feels terrible. So I can't really use the D-pad, honestly. It's basically unplayable for me. Um, but there is an option in this emulator, which I've enabled, to do a, an analog to digital remapping where basically the left thumbstick, and keep in mind that the original PlayStation 1 controller that this game is based around for controls does not actually have any thumbsticks. So the thumbsticks on the Xbox 360 by default are just mapped to, well, like nothing. They don't really do anything unless you want them to. Um, but I've mapped the left thumbstick to basically convert from analog to the digital movement. So it's basically acting as if it's a D-pad. So if I press up on the stick, does that left on the stick? It's uh, it's weird though. That analog to digital mapping feels very strange. I'm a lot more comfortable with the arrow keys on a keyboard, but I think I'm just gonna have to get used to it. Because other than that, everything else works really well. I can aim my gun. Well, that's interesting. They don't actually point it forwards unless they have an enemy to point it at. I like that. That's cool. And also the other trigger, by the way, is this like... This like take control of the camera kind of thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, I can't go up and down. I can only go left and right. Really enough, I can move the character forwards and backwards while in this view. Not left to right though, because, well... Yeah, left and right, but it moves the camera, too. Strange. Anyway, that's enough about the controls and all the oddities of using an emulator and trying to get used to an old game. Oh, that's my map. Okay. So, I think I need to take the radio. I still don't have it, right? 
I'm sorry, I'm going to move it around just horrendously, like I don't even know how to walk. It's going to be very strange. Sorry about that. Pocket radio, take it. Yes. Did I reject it? There we go. Now I think we're ready to go. Do I need to turn it on, though? Or is it just on by default? Still can't do that. It is on. I could turn it off. Why would you ever want it off, though? It warns you about enemies. I love that weird dithered look. It's so strange. But fascinating. Where could Cheryl have gone? I guess I'll check that alley again. Oh no, we're going back there? Okay. Alright, it's pretty close by. Sure, why not? It was this way, right? Should be like a wooden fence here or something. Was this it? Oh shit. It's not even fighting me. Asshole. Tricky little bastard. Oh, fucking... Didn't even let me finish him. I've only got four shots on the pistol left, and I'm not doing too great. Alright, there's all my health drinks. Hmm. Oh god. Oh, wait, that's it. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. If it's on the ground, maybe I can knife it. Save some ammo? This is probably a terrible idea. Let's do it. This is a terrible idea. Okay. I'm surely about to die. I think I will use the last four shots in my pistol. <laughs> I told you I've never played this game. I don't know how combat works. Oh, you can move the body. That's interesting. Like, very slightly, if you nudge against it. That's interesting. I could see that being used to solve the problem of a body maybe blocking the way. Allows you to get it out of the way if need be, but why even give it collision in the first place? Anyway, where the hell am I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm almost there. Okay. Me and my one round. Wait. So, this way. Just go along the building? Yeah, here we go. Here's the wood fence. This game is really cool. Also, I'm almost... Dead. What's over here? No. I'm not- I can't fight it. Oh, fuck. Doggy. They won't chase me in here, right? No. Good. How am I not dead? <sighs> oh, 
Oh yeah. Whoa! Did I just see what I think I saw? Did you see that? Also, wow, Henry or Harry, when they need to catch the breath, it looks like they're having a... I don't know... A panic attack? Seizure? Something. Uh... Is that from sprinting or is that from being almost dead? Because that's lasting a long time. Anyway, here's the super cool thing. See what happens when I sprint and hit a wall. Oh, okay, I think you have to sprint for like a couple seconds. No! Come on, you can do it. Henry or Harry? There! See it? They actually, like, brace themselves with their hands. That's really cool. Alright, let's go to my death. Handgun ammo? I just need a health drink, and I am good. Let's reload. So is that a magazine each? Yeah, one one magazine each. Um, reload with that? Yes? Yes! So the stock of the handgun isn't like your total supply of rounds in total, it's just how many are loaded into the gun specifically. So your rounds are still stored separately, the ones that aren't loaded. the hell? Steel pipe. I wonder if that's better than a knife. Should have a longer reach anyway. Sketchbook cover. This picture. It's me. The first picture that Cheryl drew in the sketchbook that I gave on her fifth birthday. She was here. Isn't the Cheryl Wait. sketchbook? Hmm. She's at the school. I accidentally skipped the first line there. Midwich Elementary School. Okay. A school in Silent Hill. I'm sure nothing creepy will happen there. So I can't pick this up, or... Yeah, guess not. I can't crouch or anything, right? I don't think so, so I can't go through there. Okay. Now I need to get out of here alive. I don't think I should try to fight the enemies. I think I'll just get hurt. Let's just see if I can get back to the diner. Okay. I just want to search the garbage for, like, health drinks real fast. Okay. Worth a try. Here we go. Oh, wow. We're out of harm's way. Oh no, there's another one. Can I sprint forever or am I eventually going to completely run out of stamina? Where am I in relation to the diner? Feels like I've walked, run forever, but I haven't moved very far. This map's pretty zoomed out. These streets are pretty long. Oh. I can zoom in and out. Cool. Okay, diner is down this road, on the left. I really want a health drink so bad. 
I feel like I'm gonna die in one hit. And also, I want Henry or Harry to stop panting. I would also like to be able to remember their name, but they're just such a generic white dude. Can't do anything with the car, okay. Shit. Fuck off, fuck off. I'm gonna be. Wait, I passed the cafe? Shit. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Oh, here it is. Oh. Okay, Jesus Christ. Let's save. Save over. Slot one, slot two. These are supposed to be different memory cards, right? They're slot one, slot two, but they're both file one. I don't know how that works, but who cares? Let's overwrite this one. Okay. And that, I think, pinball machine, nothing unusual. I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. Whew. So sorry for the awkwardness and getting used to the controls and all that. Uh, I'm going to enter the menu so you don't have to hear Henry slash Harry panting all the time. Um, yeah, sorry for the awkwardness and getting used to the controls and all that stuff, but I think I've got it pretty much worked out at this point. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. God, it's so atmospheric and moody and creepy and just that whole opening sequence going into that alleyway of that whole thing how it got darker and creepier as i went and just the whole mood of it the camera angles the uh industrial synthy creepy horror music all of it just worked so well and this came out in 1999 on playstation one i don't know it's just kind of it's kind of amazing to me that they did so much 19 years ago with hardware so simple? Well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.